is there life on Mars? It's a question put on pause for the European Space Agency, as its council unanimously agrees on the indefinite suspension of the ExoMars mission following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. While recognising the impact on scientific exploration of space, ESA is fully aligned with the sanctions imposed on Russia by its member states. The launch of Europe's first planetary rover, called Rosalind Franklin after the British chemist, was coordinated with Russia's state space corporation Roscosmos. Designed to look for life on Mars, it was originally scheduled to launch summer 2020, delayed by the coronavirus pandemic. Despite the suspension, the ESA said the International Space Station continues its normal operations. The main goal is to continue safe operations of the ISS, including maintaining the safety of the crew. There are currently four American NASA astronauts, two Russian cosmonauts and one European astronaut on board, with three more Russian cosmonauts joining the crew. The space station's manager, Joel Montabano, said there are no signs of tensions between the crew members. You know, when you're in space, there, there's no borders. You don't see, you don't see uh, country lines or state lines. So the teams continue to work together. Are they aware of what's going on on Earth? Absolutely. Uh, but the teams are professional. The ESA says the Director General, Joseph Ashbacher, will host an extraordinary meeting in the coming weeks as Russia's invasion continues.